So after seeing Jimmy's work, <laughs> I am not a fine art photographer. I would love to be a fine art photographer, but Jemmy is a fine art photographer. Needing to edit people out of portraits does not make me a fine art photographer. That being said, I am a digital artist and I also am a true professional. This is how I make my living. So, Let us get into editing this, this lovely photo. Let us do it. Are we ready? First of all, I want to zoom out just a little bit. No, good. zoom back in. Hey, stop it. I need to move this guy out of the way. Move it, move it. Can I make this thing smaller? I don't know. Oh, good. Get out of the way, piggy. I need to go here. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I would like to start with my pictures a little bit underexposed. Oh boy, this is going to be some work. Not a lot of cherry. What angle should I have been at? Should I have been down lower, shooting up so that there's more tree around her? Probably. One of the things that happens with me sometimes when there are a lot of people is I start to get overwhelmed and I, and also it was the beginning of the shoot. Sometimes it takes me time to warm up. I'm making excuses. The best thing you can do is get it right straight out of camera. Save yourself time. Right now I'm just doing, getting rid of this one stray hair. Now I still edit with a mouse. I don't use a Wacom tablet or Wacom, Wacom, Wacom. My, uh, I've, I have most of my colleagues use Wacom tablets to do their editing. And then they laugh at me for a painting with a rock is what they call it, painting with a rock. I like to paint with a rock. Now, Mr. Big, LA photographer, really nice guy, great teacher. He has a huge following on social media because he's earned it. He's the, he travels around the world uh, as a wedding photographer. And also he teaches at big conferences like the WPPI, et cetera. I definitely make it a point to follow the best of the best in the industry and to pay attention to what they're doing. I could edit out this hair here by her lip. Do I need to, or does it add to the story? See in the pullback, your eye goes straight to it. So I would say it needs to come out. Ah, no, I don't want to. So one of the things that I've decided is that each video that I do is only gonna be 15 minutes long so that I'm able to post it to Instagram on the Instagram TV. I haven't posted anything to Instagram in about a week. See, the problem is I'm going too fast and I'm gonna mess with her natural lip line. Do you see how she has this natural highlight on her lip? Did I mess it up? Let's just slow it down just a little bit. Oh. Right now we are magnified at I love my daughter. She's on my Instagram right now. I was just talking about how I haven't posted Instagram. She sent me a message. 
on Instagram this morning. Now we're zoomed in at 400%. So Mr. Big LA photographer, when I went to learn from him, I was hoping that his post-production was really quick and that his images just came out of the camera looking magical land, fairy, perfect, great. <laughs> but no, 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 no. No, he puts as much time and effort into his images as I put into mine. He also charges $1,200 for one digital image file, print ready, $1,200. Whereas I sell one image currently for $100. So he makes $1,200 on an image and I make $100 on an image. Why is that? Because he is a smarter businessman. What? Did I just say somebody else is a smarter business person than me? Yeah, I did. It's okay, I'll get better. I believe in the growth and learning curve. All this work to get rid of some stray hair. All this work, but it's worth it, right? That is better. How am I gonna crop this? Well, I really want more cherry in there than anything. I want to lose her pants. The cherry blossom images are not the strongest images from the shoot, but she really wanted she really wanted a cherry blossom picture, so I have to make that happen. This is, I personally feel like I missed the mark on the cherry blossom side of things. That's another kick me in the ass thing. If I would have handled this better or in the future, if I was gonna redo this, I would plan the shoot for early, 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 early in the morning before people are there. I would say late in the evening, but I have a feeling that people will hang out there till the sun goes down so early, early in the morning so that we can get the pictures before the crowds get there. I'm rather disappointed in myself, to be honest, but that's okay. Now, I mentioned Jemmy. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right, but one of the things that you know, if she was to do this shoot, she would plan the outfit for the client. She might even sew the outfit. I do believe she sews. She would plan the time. She would have a team of people there to help. And she would be able to get the magical shots that she needs at the right angles that she needs because she had put all of that stuff together beforehand. Now, me as a true professional, I could have driven an hour to Seattle just to see the venue, got it all lined up. And those are one of those things where you're just like, ah, woulda, coulda, shoulda. Sometimes you learn the hard way. This is my first time shooting in this location and ah, 
I learned the hard way. I honestly wasn't sure what to expect. And I don't always have the time to drive an hour to go check out a venue beforehand. And that's the difference between a, a stylized shoot sometimes, I guess. I don't know. Definitely would be way better, way more better, way more better, be better. I want to go back here and do it again. Differently. So in a perfect world, I will go back next year early with a model and I'll get those magical shots. Maybe I'll even, if she's around, maybe she can come back with me because that'd be fun to go back and recreate this. The tree's magical. So I say that Mr. LA big, big LA photographer is a better business person than me because he is able to grow and expand his business because his prices are in line. Whereas this particular photo shoot, I didn't make any money from and I'm not going to make any money from uh, because of my business model, the way that I had it in the first place. And it's my fault. It is my fault. What did I do wrong? Well, this is a split session. I did a split session. So we did the first part of her pictures in the spring and then the second shoot in No, in the, we did their first pictures in the fall. Ah, shit. What was that? I don't want that there. How long do you think this video is? I don't want it to be longer than 15 minutes. I should stop it. Just in case. <laughs> 